All right, so today we're going to be doing kinesio tape for rotator cuff tendonitis and impingement. A uh, study was shown, and it was compared against a sham, and it was found the kinesio tape was found to reduce pain almost immediately compared to the sham, and they also used the outcome measure shoulder pain and disability index, and it was shown to uh, return the person back to good function. So that is why we're going to show it to you today. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply an anchor. Uh, the, following the origin insertion of the supraspinatus muscle. So I'm going to have my patient contralaterally tilt his head to the left. Okay, he's going to put his hand, arm behind his back here to expose that muscle. So we're looking at the lateral aspect of the humerus, the superior aspect of the humerus. With this, I'm just doing uh, tension off taping. Okay, so I'm not applying a whole lot of, I'm not applying any stretch with this tape at this point. So I go here. Um, essentially, what I'm going to do is follow down the supraspinous process, or the, excuse me, the supraspinous fossa. So go in here, tension off tape, following the origin insertion of the supraspinatus. The next is also going to be a Y strip, like so, cut right down the middle. Um, this time I'm going to have my patient, he's going to be uh, externally rotated and he's going to be horizontally abducted like so. Um, this time I'm going to apply my anchor at the uh, insertion of the deltoid. Give me one sec. And again, this is going to be taper off tension. Here on the humerus, and for this right side, I'm going to try to be careful of this left side that I don't. There we go. Keep it on the tape. So this is going to go up and around the anterior shoulder. I did get it a little long here, but that's all right. We can cut that off. So again, this is paper off tension. Okay. The next position, he's going to go into internal rotation and horizontal adduction. Come back here real quick. Sure, I can cut this down a little better. Okay, internal rotation, horizontal adduction, and then we're going to go to the posterior aspect of the deltoid, like so. Okay, bring your arm to a neutral position. Now, the last application I'm going to apply here is um, an eye piece of tape, just a straight piece and we're going to anchor it across like this. Now what I want to do at this point is ask my patient, where exactly are you having the most pain? I'll have him point. Go ahead and point to me where you're feeling the most pain with that rotator cuff tendonitis. So that's the point that I'm going to apply my mechanical correction to the tape. So right here. So that's where I'm going to apply my uh, upwards of 50% stretch and downward motion with that. So I'll anchor my tape on the coracoid process. I would, if I had additional time, cut these little pieces of strips off here because I had a little bit too much. Uh, and I'm applying this to the coracoid. And then we're going to come around here. I'm on the humerus. And then when we get to this point here, I'm applying about a 50% stretch. So this would be a total 100%. I'm going about 50%. And I'm applying a downward force here. And we're coming across tension off here. Again, I'd cut this extra piece off. Now Zach's going to talk about parameters. Uh, so this taping technique is put on and you want to instruct the patient that has it on to wear for two to three days. <laughs> and uh, keep it on until it comes off and once it comes off, come back in. The PT will reassess looking uh, pain and function. And then the taping technique can then again be reapplied and you can go through the same procedure looking to reduce the total pain.